A while back I've created a tutorial about the unfold effect and in that video we've applied the effect to a container into which we've added the elements we wanted. Recently the comments have been asked if it's possible to apply the unfold effect directly to the text editor. Well I've made some changes to the code and now we can. So in this example the effect is applied directly to the text editor. So let me show you how to achieve this. So we're going to switch to element or a brand new page. I'm going to click the plus icon. Flexbox direction row. In the layout I'm going to go to justify content and align it to the center. And then I'm going to go to align items and I'm going to align it to the start. Next I'm going to go to the widgets tab and I'm going to add another container into this parent container. So I'm going to click once to add it. Then I'm going to go to the content width and I'm going to change it from box to full width. And I'm going to set the width to 25%. Then I'm going to go to justify content and I'm going to align it to the start. Now I'm going to add a couple elements before the text editor. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab and I'm going to drop an image. Let's select one. I'm going to go with this guy over here. Select. Let's go back to the widgets tab and drop also a heading. I'm going to go to style, typography and I'm going to make it 22 pixels. Now let's add the text editor. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab and I'm going to drop the text editor and I'm going to paste some dummy text. Now let's add a button. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab and I'm going to click the button widget wants to add it. Then I'm going to go to text and I'm going to change it from click here to read more. Then in the link field I'm going to delete the hashtag and the alignment I'm going to set to justify. Lastly let's add an HTML widget. So I'm going to go to the widgets tab and I'm going to click the HTML widget once to add it. So the next step is to assign classes to the text editor and the button widget. So for that I'm going to go to the code page, I'm going to scroll down to where it says unfold effect text and I'm going to copy the class. So Control C to copy. I'm going to go back, I'm going to select the text editor, I'm going to go to advanced CSS classes and I'm going to paste the class here. Now let's do the same for the button. So I'm going to go back, I'm going to highlight the class, Control C to copy, I'm going to go back, I'm going to select the button, advanced CSS classes and I'm going to paste it here. Now let's go get the code. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to click this button, the code button to copy the code. I'm going to go back. I'm going to select the HTML widget and I'm going to paste the code. And now as you can see, the effect is on. So now let's see if it works on the front end. So I'm going to click publish and preview. I'm going to click the read more button and then we see the rest of the text. I'm going to click read less and it closes back up. Now as you can see, the first two lines of the text editor are visible. So if you don't like that, what you can do is Go back to the code and here where it says max height. Right now it is set to 50 pixels. If we're going to increase this number, let's say we're going to make it 150, we're going to see more of the text. If we're going to decrease it, let's say make it zero, we don't going to see any text. Okay? So here is where you can control it. I'm going to make it 50 pixels again. The next thing I want to show you is that we can add the blur effect to the text editor for when the unfold is closed. So here where it says filter blur, you see that it is set to zero pixels. So if we're going to change the zero pixels to two pixels, and we're going to do the same over here from zero pixel to two pixels, and I'm going to publish and preview. And now as you can see, the text is blurred. And when I click the read more, the blur disappears. I click it back, it appears again. So I just want to let you know that you have this option if you want to use it. Right, so the next thing I want to talk about is the speed of the unfolding. So if you feel that the speed is too slow for you, what you can do is go back to the code and here where it says 500. If you're going to decrease this number, it's going to be faster. So let's say we're going to make it from 500 to 200. And we're going to do the same over here, 500 to 200. And I'm going to click publish. And now I'm going to click the read more button. You're going to see that it opens much faster. So this is how you can control the speed of the unfold animation. The next thing I want to talk about is how to change the text on the button. So we're going to go back to the code and you're going to see that we have here the read more text, which is the initial text that appears on the button. And then we have the read less, which is the secondary text that appears on the button. So all you need to do is just highlight the text and change it to anything you want. Just make sure that when you change the read more text, which is the initial text, it matches the text that you entered here. Okay, that's very important. Now let's say you don't like the button look and you want to use only text. No problem, just make sure that your button is selected, go to the style tab, background type, click on classic, then click on the color picker and make it transparent. Now you have only text. You can even go to the hover state and add an animation. So we're going to add a pulse animation. And now we have only text. 
Now, the last thing I want to show you is how to duplicate this whole thing. So the way we're going to do it, we're going to select this whole container, right click and duplicate. And now what we need to do is change the class's name of the widget and also in the code itself. So we're going to start with the text header. I'm going to select it. I'm going to go to advanced. I'm going to go to the CSS class. And all I'm going to do at the end, I'm going to add the number one. And I'm going to do the same for the button. So I'm going to select the button, advanced, the CSS class name, and I'm going to add the number one. Now let's match it in the code itself. So I'm going to select the HTML widget. I'm going to go here where it says text editor. Here is the class name. I'm going to go to the end and I'm going to add the number one. And also for the button, here's the class name. I'm going to go to the end and add the number one. So that's it. Now I'm going to click publish and preview. And now when I click to open this one, it doesn't affect the second one and vice versa. So as you can see, it works. Now, if you want a third one, just repeat the same steps and use the number two instead. So that's it for this one. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.